Biologics are treatments derived from a biological process rather than being manufactured chemically. Biologics can be broadly classified into two major groups, anti-tumor necrosis factor alpha and others. Amongst various cytokines, tumor necrosis factor alpha is the main target for many biologics. Therefore, we will start with the anti-tumor necrosis factor. In the TNF-alpha producing cells, such as phagocytes, the transmembrane TNF-alpha is detached from the cell membrane by the action of the TNF converting enzyme. The free floating molecule is now called soluble TNF-alpha. The soluble TNF-alpha molecules traverse to the TNF-alpha responsive cells where they bind to specific receptors called TNF receptors, which are abbreviated as TNFR. There are two subtypes of TNF receptors, TNFR1 and TNFR2. Soluble and transmembrane TNF can bind to either TNFR1 or TNFR2. However, transmembrane TNF-alpha prefers binding to TNFR2. TNFR1 is expressed in almost all body cells, except for erythrocytes, whereas TNFR2 is strictly expressed in the immune cells. Generally, activation of TNFR1 leads to a sequence of biological reactions, which results with cellular apoptosis. On the other hand, activation of TNFR2 promotes cellular proliferation. Both soluble and transmembrane TNF-alpha are the main targets for many biologics. The anti-TNF-alpha biologics can be functionally divided into two groups, anti-TNF-alpha antibodies and soluble TNF-alpha receptors. The anti-TNF-alpha antibodies can be further divided into chimeric antibodies, fully humanized antibodies, or fully humanized with polyethylene glycol antibodies. The infliximab drug is an example of a chimeric antibody which is produced from mouse myeloma. Adalimumab and galimumab are biologics generated completely from human antibodies. The sertilizumab is a unique biologic where the polyethylene glycol fab segment is connected to the human monoclonal antibody. The etanercept drug contains soluble TNFR2 receptors that can bind and inactivate TNF-alpha. Over the last 20 years, biologics have significantly improved the remission rates in many rheumatoid arthritis patients. However, 40% of patients do not respond to biologics treatment. To enhance the effectiveness of biologics in resistant patients, the next generation of biologics should work more selectively. They should aim to block TNFR1 and to activate TNFR2. Now we will go through the other biologics. These biologics attack either cytokines or cellular targets. The targeted cytokines include interleukin-6, interleukin-1 and interleukin-17. Whereas T cell and B cells are the main cellular targets, interleukin-6 is attacked by tocilizumab antibodies, whilst interleukin-1 receptors are blocked by the anakimra biologic. Secukinumab is an interleukin-17 antibody. T cells are deactivated by abatacept whereas B cells are depleted by rituximab biologics. Unfortunately, the cost of biological treatment is very expensive. The one year treatment course for one patient can cost up to 10,000 pounds. 
Therefore, after the end of patency of famous biologics, many biosimilars have been introduced to the clinical practice. Biosimilars have similar structures, mechanism of actions, clinical efficacy, and side effects of original biologics. Fortunately, they cost much less than the original biologics. Dozens of biosimilars have been licensed for clinical practice worldwide and hundreds are tested in clinical trials. This video was designed by Dr. Jihad Hamid and Professor Susan Brain and narrated by Brenton Barrett.